Hi, Matt with Lidlocks here, and today we're going to go ahead and install this heavy-duty tube mount lid locks on this Harley Davidson Road Glide. So, just to point out, this big body is the heavy-duty lid locks, uh, bolt mount style lock, I call it, and this is the standard bolt mount style lock, which is a very popular lock. They uh, typically mount up on your handlebar by your front break perch uh, check the website for that but in this case this, these come also you can uh, buy them with the uh, tube mount hardware to mount it on a crash bar or any place else uh, like a utv roll cage and things like that so the main difference in this big heavy duty lock is the lock mechanism is much bigger as you can see and this takes a key the same size as your harley davidson ignition key so uh, you can actually have this big lock mechanism, the heavy duty, uh, re-keyed to match your Harley ignition key if your Harley uses a barrel style ignition key. So that was one of the main reasons for the big heavy duty lock, plus it's just a heavier duty lock in general. Okay, so this comes packaged like that in your kit. And uh, first we're gonna disassemble it. We didn't tighten the set screw in the kit that holds that lock core in, it's threaded in there. We're just gonna use the key as a tool key has a little ridge on it there and there's a little slot in the lock like all barrel keys. Let's put that ridge in the slot just slightly so we can unscrew this lock. Because it's flush like that, you can't grab it without the key. So get it started. Go ahead and unthread that all the way out of there. Set that aside. And then this is a uh, six millimeter screw and nut in here. This is a five millimeter Allen key. This just has a T handle on it. So we're going to uh, unscrew that. Now this little nut sits in a recess here, a little hexagonal recess. So you don't need a wrench for that nut, okay? So there is a washer here between the lid locks and the uh, tube mounting hardware that uh, I like to put in there. So set that aside. Now there's a band piece and then a base piece for this hardware. And in this case, I'm going to install this uh, right here on this tube facing this way. Now you can play around with locations where you want your helmet to hang, whatnot. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right here. The, hang is gonna, the helmet's gonna hang right below the crash bar in this for this video so you can see what I'm doing as I install it. Uh, this is a good location. So first thing to do is you can put a little bit of tape on this bar if you wanna protect it. And uh, you need to stretch this clamp over the bar and you can grab it like that and again that little hex recess is facing the front that's the side i want the nut to go on then take this piece and obviously the concave part goes against the tube Take your five millimeter Allen, put it in there, then take your nut, get that started. And again, you don't need a wrench for this backside because there's a hex that that nut goes in. So you want the slot facing down towards the ground when it's done tightened down. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down right here. Like I said, you're going to move it around and final tighten it wherever you like. So go ahead and snug that down. And that's good and tight. And there you have it. So now we're going to go ahead and thread the lock core into the body. And it's a really fine thread. So sometimes you have to turn it backwards a few times, feel it, get it to click. If it stops after a couple turns, that means it's cross-threaded. 
be gentle with it till you get it going correctly. Fine thread, big fine threads like that are difficult to get started without crossing them. So be patient. Then again, you'll need your key as a tool, a little ridge and a little slot, line them up. Because you gotta turn this all the way in flush. Otherwise the pin won't go across the slot and trap your helmet properly. So it's gotta be all the way in till it stops until that's flush. So there you go. Now take the Allen key that was supplied in your kit. Snug down the set screw and that's it. You're all installed. So to operate it again, the ridge on the key and the slot, put that in just a quarter turn, pops this centerpiece out. It's unlocked. Push it in like that without, you don't need the key to lock it and that's locked. So to use it, Take your helmet extender, which comes in all of the lid locks kits, and put it through your helmet clip. This uh, helmet extender fits all helmets, all the different types of clips out there on the market. So then you're just going to take that, put it up in the slot, push the pin. Make sure it's trapped before you let go of your helmet, of course, and there you go. You're all locked up. It's as easy as that. To unlock it. Insert your barrel key, grab your helmet, quarter turn, pop the pin, and there you go. If your helmet has D-rings, the D-rings will go up in this slot and get trapped without the use of the helmet extender. Okay, it's as easy as that to install. And uh, again, I call this the uh, heavy-duty tube mount. So if you go on a Lidlock store at lidlocks.com. And uh, go into store categories, two mounts, and this will be listed there. And if you got any questions, just email me to sales at lidlocks.com and uh, we'll take care of you. All right. Thanks for watching.